The cage top should either be opened or removed carefully to avoid excessive disturbance to the animals. The rat should be allowed sufficient time to become aware of your presence. The first rat to be injected should then be restrained smoothly, without hesitation, by grasping the animal around its shoulders. The rat should then be lifted from the floor of its cage onto your arm or onto the cage lid. If the animal is very active, then it can be restrained by holding the base of its tail before picking it up around its shoulders. It can then be held resting against your chest or arm while maintaining a gentle grasp around the shoulders and with the hindquarters supported. The cage lid may need to be replaced to avoid other animals climbing out of the cage. Intramuscular injections can be made into the front or back of the rat's thigh. It is important that only small volumes are injected by this route as distension of the muscle by larger volumes of material can be painful. Adjust your grip around the rat's shoulders so that your thumb and forefinger push one or both of the rat's legs forward and support and restrain the rat by holding its hindquarters and one hind limb using your other hand. An assistant who will carry out the injection gently extends and restrains the other hind leg, supporting it with their index finger to prevent movement during the injection. The needle is inserted into the muscles at the front, or as shown here, the back of the thigh, and the injection made slowly and steadily. The needle is then withdrawn and the rat placed back into its cage and released. Prior to release, it may be identified, for example with a tail mark, to confirm that the injection has been administered. When releasing the rat, maintain a secure grip until its feet have made contact with the cage floor, then gently release it.